Hey everybody, what's up? Sorry about the wind noise. It's kind of windy out tonight. Give me an update on the truck. So I got the fog machine hooked up. Got everything going there. All the lights. Got some leaves, the skull. Tombstone. Creepy little wrap. Yeah, I'm going to show you down here, because I didn't show you in the last video. This is my fog machine setup. It's an indoor fog machine, but I have it set up to where it's in a room make container where it still allows airflow. And it's actually screwed to the 2x2 uh, two, uh, two two there. <clears throat> and uh, I have a remote. I was thinking of a timer, but uh, I think that would have been a bad idea trying to drive around as it's smoking. And it smokes pretty, pretty good. As you can tell, it's uh, light is lit, ready to be uh, turned on. I'll show you real quick how smoky it gets. I'll show you where the uh, the switch is at. But uh, as you can tell, you got spiders, chains, the three tombstones. Plus you got two stone there with the skull on each side. The grass has been blowing off from the rain and everything else. I did have a did have it spray glued, but rain is up. Uh, Doing away with that, but uh, right here is the remote. I have it hanging from my rear mirror that way I can't lose it. I already lost one. But if I click it, come back here. Fills the bed up. And it goes for a decent long time, and like I said, it's a windy night, so it's, as soon as it's coming out, it's being taken away. But usually, if I close the tailgate, let me turn my light off so you get the better effect of it. It does make it pretty spooky. My, my camera right now is not the greatest because how dark it is. But you can get the concept of the smoke and everything else. Um, now, how I did this with the smoke and the lights and everything else, of course, everybody knows I got the power inverter. But as you remember in the last video, I was having a problem with it. And what I did was I went and bought two 10 gauge power cables for a tractor. Hooked them up to it, ran it through the door, up, and my battery is literally right there. So I didn't have to go too far in order to do it. As you tell, right here, that's nothing major. It's just from the door closing right here, the, the feeling from that. But I have everything up tucked away. I was thinking about screwing that in, but it's sitting pretty good there. It doesn't fall or anything, so I'm probably going to leave it. But um, yeah, I got. The wires from Walmart. Got the extension cord ran there, over there, down the side, down the frame. Yes, I got rusty rockers. I know. Oop. Up the bed, and then I have it stapled right here, just so it doesn't go anywhere. And then down into the bed, and then I have it. All the wires ran to that one, but um, that's pretty much it. And you guys seen the last video with all the blood, but uh, I figure I'd give you guys an update because uh, I haven't done one since I got the uh, the fog machine to work. And if you guys are trying to figure out why the fog machine wasn't working last time, because nobody helped me out on it, but I figured it out. It's because uh, your outlet here can only put out 180 watts. This is a 750 watt power inverter. I was trying to run lights in the fog machine. The fog machine itself is a 400 watt fog machine. So even by itself, that would not be able to run the fog machine. So I had to go directly hook up to the battery. I just keep the truck running if I'm gonna run the fog machine. If I'm not gonna run the fog machine, I unplug the fog machine I run it like this. I have no issues with it at all. Uh, I could leave the lights on by themselves for up to two hours. Truck still starts up. Uh, if you guys do do anything like this, I recommend probably about every hour. I wouldn't go two hours like me, but I just do it because 
I really don't care. If I need another battery, I'll buy another battery. I haven't, I just got struck not long ago, as you guys know, and I'm planning on putting a battery in it, so if the battery goes, I'll get a new battery out of the deal, probably an Optima. But that's all I got for uh, this episode on my truck. Uh, I'll be posting more, like, hopefully soon. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment on what you think about the truck. See you guys next time.